Hello, everyone. It is I, Piggy. Stay here, man. Eh. There we go. Okay. And today I'm going to be doing last week's video, and uh, things changed, and this uh, I'm doing it this week. Let's just go with that. And what you will need to make a origami water bomb is a piece of scrap paper. Um. Uh. Well. And then it depends on what you want to fill it with. You can use air to fill it up. You can use water to fill it up to make a water bomb. Or you can use, in my case, gerbil treats. So I'm making this for class bet gerbils that I took home for the summer. I'll show you them at the end of this video when I go in their little cage. Okay, there, there, there. My phone does not want to cooperate. There we go. Now. There we go. Okay, my phone is plugged in because it's very low on battery. But what you will need to do is get your piece of paper and fold it diagonal. Like I've done. So that this is a piece of printer paper. I'm going to fold in diagonal. Though. Diagonal. And then diagonal again. Like. This is going to be a very low quality video. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. Now I'm going to plug my phone so it stops sliding around. I should have really plugged it in earlier. But once you have like this, we're going to take your folded editors. You see this little crease right here? Focus. Right there, it's like there, crease. Going to kind of fuck it up. And then slide the camera on. Then push. Yeah, I'm gonna try from the other side. And you're going to want to push in. And you should give it some pressure. Push in. And you should come like this. And you're just gonna flatten it out. And voila, you should have a shape that looks like this. And this. And this. And this. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do. Fold each corner up like this, and um, there's two flaps. You want to fold the top one up, not the bottom one. And then the second one up. And I'm not making this too exact because my dribbles are, or the dribbles are just gonna chew on it. And the second one, and the third one, like that. Okay, now what you want to do is fold in all the corners. So, first layer again, fold in corner to the middle, fold in corner to the middle, flip it over, and repeat. This is pretty simple once you've got the hang of it. And then, but next, you want to take this top flat and tuck it in this little slot. That you created by folding out, or that, yeah, that's created by folding over. It doesn't have to be too pretty, it just has to get that. And repeat the same for the other side. Put it in there. And. Next one. Let me just. Okay. And last one. There and there, you have it. Once you put it in, okay. Now you have it like this. You're gonna flip it over. You should see a little hole like that. Yep. You're just going to want to use your or fill it with whatever you want. So here I have half a little pretzel for small animals. Come on. There we go. And you can inflate it by blowing on it like I just did. And I'm going to put this um, food topper. It's papaya. And it's really sugary. So I don't put them too many too often. And then I have, I have three sunflower seeds. 
and another little bit of pretzel. I'm just going to toss everything in there. And I'm going to take you over to their fridge. Um, I'm going to cover up the camera because my room is a mess. But this is my favorite. And there they are. The one that's the, the brown one is Chip. And the white one is Dale. Dale is asleep. I'm going to be kind of a little more quiet over here. And i going to open their lid and toss it in there. As you can see, they are really red. They've got like, like a little hole right there. Oh, Chip is awake. Or Dale is awake. And they just will chew on it. They can chew apart a toilet paper roll in like four hours, so. Yeah. I only have them for the summer. But that is it for this video. And if you did enjoy, please rate, like, subscribe, whatever, comment. <sighs> and if you didn't like it, just go ahead and give it a thumbs down because your feedback is always welcome. So that's it for today and see you later.